Hey, Martine, this is Andy Harrison. This is my Animal Farm response. Um, this The date is October 16th, um, uh, 2015. Um, and responding to the question, how um, does the theme of the play and uh, the technical aspects of a play relate to... Um, medieval theater and how can we see aspects of medieval theater in those. And so the first thing I want to talk about is um, this, the set of Animal Farm. Uh, the way that they had it set up with the um, farm and barn houses and the farmhouse kind of around the outside of the stage with an open playing space in the middle um, are very much reminiscent of the mansion and the platea. I think I'm saying that right. Um, in that you know, it's stationary, it doesn't move, and it just gives us a sense of where we are. Um, and then the second thing I want to talk about is just the, um, how the subject matter and what the play is, uh, is very reminiscent of, reminiscent, reminiscent of morality plays. Um, in the book on page 122, it defines morality play. It says, morality play attempts to teach a moral lesson through the use of allegorical characters. Um, it says in allegory, people represent ideas. One character stands for charity, another for integrity, for greed, so forth. Um, and so um, we see that very similarly in Animal Farm in that it is, again, very allegorical, um, referencing communism and um, the effects of it and of corruption um, on society. Um I mean, and obviously animals don't actually talk and move around and do these things for themselves. So um, we can tell from that that the animals are um, allegorical characters representing society as a whole. Um, and even within that, different characters within the play could represent different things. Napoleon uh, representing uh, a corrupt uh, government. Um, Squealer representing... Um, um, the spread of uh, corrupt ideas and uh, propaganda in that way, um, and so on and so forth. So um, anyway, that's, uh, that's what I've got for you, and uh, I hope it makes it to you all right. Thanks.